Welcome back guys. So for today we are taking out my uh, radiator and we'll see if we're gonna be able to flush the coolant in the same time so yeah i don't know we're gonna figure out if i'm gonna be able manually to flush it if not um i might just crank the car for a little bit so i can uh, you know trigger the water pump and then yeah i don't know we'll see we will see so without further ado smash the like button <laughs> now let's get dirty Safety first. So I'm gonna open the bottom left. I guess it's right side. Left side or right side? Right side. Uh, on the bottom right, there is the big main hose. So I'm gonna disconnect that. So we can just basically dump the entire um, coolant down into my pan. And hopefully my pan is big enough, hopefully. Okay guys, so next thing is to transfer the coolant into my tube with the help of a rack. So if I have any, you know, dirt rocks or whatever, you know, the rack is gonna stop them. And hopefully we got some of those crystals out so I can, you know, show you guys what I'm talking about. Boy, oh boy, there is a big mess. No lie. There is not a lot of crystals. Most of it is dirt. But I will show what I'm talking about, you know, when I uh, clean the filter up there. So now I'm thinking I have some jugs of water. So I'm thinking I'll actually, let's first uh, remove the fan and let's see if we can remove the radiator and then we'll go from there. Okay. So, now actually should be pretty easy. And I'm saying should be, because uh, it looks like it's gonna be easy, but I don't know. Okay, next step is to remove the seal. Now we need to remove this plastic trim. Okay guys, um, now we need to remove these uh, two like, uh, caps for the radiator and those are pretty tricky. Take your time, don't hurry. <laughs> Let's put it this way because you guys can break them. Start on one end and work your way around. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, so right after that, the instructions from the dealership shows that we need to drain um, the Freon for the AC and I'm really not looking you know, forward to it. So I'm gonna try to do it without that. So next step is to unplug, uh, let me see, be able to show you guys. Next thing is to unplug the two right there uh, the two houses that goes to transmission oil those are actually pretty simple there is this plastic cap that needs to come out and then there is two uh, metal clips that needs to get up and then then you know, the tube just comes straight out so that should be easy but the thing that i'm trying to avoid is these two guys right there and those two guys are attached to the second radiator because right now this is all sandwiched together but right here in the back there is two clips and two screws so i don't know we'll see i'm uh, crossing my fingers that i'm gonna be able to do it so let's see if uh, this is gonna be a success or a failure and i hope this is gonna be success because if not then i need to call one of my friends to come in and drain the freon because you can't just you know release it into the air you know that's super bad and especially in the garage like here yeah not good um so yeah and i'm gonna try to avoid that and on top of that you know refilling it that's gonna be another you know 100 bucks so let's see if i'm gonna be able to do that so first i'm gonna remove the oil um tubes out of the of the left side and then i'll see if i'm gonna be able to lift up the radiator and push it towards the engine so the front of the radiator is gonna get, you know, I'm gonna get that space so I can be able to remove, I believe there is like screws or something and then there's like two clips holding the two radiators together. So let's see if I'm gonna be able to do that because that's gonna save us some money. <laughs> okay, let's do it. This is the clip that I'm talking to you about guys. Yep. You guys can see now all of the oil is coming out. Yeah, not fun, but we will do it. Yeah, buddy. Okay guys, so let me show you what I did. Cause it's pretty boring, you know, from your guys' side. So I did it, you know, without recording my ass. So right here, let me see where you guys can see. Okay, so right here, I got disconnected these holes from here. Then I have this little guy that is connecting this side with this side right there. And then on the very bottom, I have that little hose that's right there, this guy. There you go. Then I disconnected this hose right here, which is this guy, because it was on my way. And uh, I think that should be it, because now, let me show you. Oh, wow, you guys see that? We can get, you know, the radiator, the radiator open like that. And you guys can see how much space. And uh, right now there is two clips right there. Right there, there's two clips that needs to be unclipped. And that should be able to separate the front from the back. And if, uh, if that's a success, then we should be able to separate the radiator from the condenser. Um, you know, the, from this, this front, because right now this is a two, like I said. So we're gonna be able to separate this radiator, which that's the one for the, um, for the AC, from the one for the cooling system on the vehicle. And if I do that, then I don't need to, uh, I don't need to drain the uh, Freon, so. Let's see if is that gonna work. Okay guys, so I managed to separate them. And it was actually not that bad. It was tricky, but these two special pliers saved me a lot. So you guys can see when you squeeze them, you know, open and close. But with this thing right here, now it's open. Now you can close them. So you guys can decide which way you wanna do them. So with this, I was managed to get them in and squeeze those two clips. 
and separate the radiators. The radiators. So now it's uh, the two legs that the the two rubber. I think they're rubber bushings. Uh, the ones that the radiator the radiator is sitting. They are pretty tight. So I managed to get this side unhooked. It wasn't easy. So let me show you how I'm gonna hook the second side. It is stuck, stuck. Um, you guys might want to use like a double 40 spray on it, make it in a more slippery, but yeah, for me it's like holy moly. So let me show you guys. I got the two separated and now I'm trying to just get it out. And right now, it looks it's pretty stuck. I think I got it guys. I got it. Check it out. Okay guys, so this is looking all over the place. So let me show you what I'm thinking. Okay guys, so basically my radiator was looking right there in a the corner between this plastic and this. So yeah, fun fun. I was thinking to undo the end, you know, and clip it and remove this plastic out to see how it's made, you know, on the inside and see what causes the problem. So the two clips, what I was thinking about is these two clips right here. These two clips, they were holding the condenser or you know the radiator for the AC. It's uh, you know sandwiched together. That was it. Just these two clips with these pliers, and I managed to get you know in that corner, and then just you know you guys can see squeeze them, boom, just like that, and then you know make pressure between them so it will come out. This side, same thing. And that's it and then on the bottom you guys have these two like spots where you know the radiator was just sitting here and it was clipped up here you know it was just you know like that sitting here and clipped up here that was it that was the only thing that was holding it nothing else it was just tricky you know but we got it so you guys can see right there I got this side opened up so you guys can see everything it's kind of clean but here, so you can see in some of those channels, there is those crystals that I was telling you about. And then on top of that, I wonder where is that gasket? There is some kind of a gasket here that came from somewhere. I really hope that that gasket doesn't, uh, you know, get me in more trouble later. But yeah, this is the bottom of it. And this is the crystals that, that I was telling you guys. You guys can see all of these crystals. If somebody knows, you know, what type of a crystals are those and how they end up in my vehicle and why they actually got there in the first place, you know, please put it down in the comments below. Cause uh, yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. You guys can see this entire bottom part. You know, it's just full of crystals. So that was the cause of my radiator to, you know, not really to blow up but you know essentially that's what really happened all of the bottom right here got clogged because the entire idea i think is you know everything flows through the radiator and then goes out from the other side so when this side got clogged here and the pressure was enough you know so it will leak out and there we go that's what happened start dripping other than that you know this radiator is not really bad it's actually pretty good i can wash it and you know i mean now i mean I already broke this part but like the aluminum part of this radiator it's not bad it's actually pretty good just needs to be washed up and that's it but yeah so let me show you on the inside look at that space Woo -wee. so you guys can see i didn't undo i didn't join my freon so that's awesome we just saved some money right there so we can can be done so you guys can see this is my ac radiator it was a different word but yeah and right there this is where you know i put my needle nose i guess you can call them and just squeeze it and it pops out so this is a success guys and you guys can see the rubber uh bushings right there on the bottom this guy right there it, it is tight i'm not gonna lie it was pretty tight we've got it guys we got it i don't want to make this video way too long because it seems way too long already. And on top of that, I don't have my radiator. I ordered it uh, two, three days ago, four days maybe. Uh, yeah, what was it? I think it was uh, on Tuesday. Yeah, I, th I think I ordered it on Tuesday. And it was supposed to be here today, which today is Saturday. Uh, you guys are gonna watch the video on a different day, but 
yeah, uh, unfortunately, when I ordered it and I received, um, I was looking at it on FedEx and FedEx shows delayed. Oh man, it was supposed to show up today. And that, if that was, you know, if that actually happened, I'll be, you know, pretty dope, but it didn't happen. So what can I say? Shit happens. That's it, you know, from me for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys like videos like this. I'm uh, currently, I'm working on my GL 450. I have a couple of videos coming up uh, with my uh, wife's vehicle, which is a Mercedes C300. And in the same time, I'm looking, you know, through Colpart and uh, I, A, I, 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 A, it was something like that, the website. Um, to see if we can get a project vehicle but uh, now looking at it and I'm like thank god that I don't have a project vehicle because right now I'll be in a pretty tough spot you know especially with my main vehicle being down so once again don't forget to smash the like button and I'll see you on the next one